Welcome back to our Intro to CBT series. Last time, we talked about what CBT is and how it can help improve your mental health. Today, we're going to dive a bit deeper into the idea that our thoughts affect our feelings and behavior and how CBT can help us recognize and change unhelpful thinking patterns. Now we all have thoughts, thousands of them each day. But not all of our thoughts are helpful or accurate. In fact, some of our thoughts can actually make us feel worse and behave in unhelpful ways. Let's take a closer look at some common unhelpful thinking patterns. One common unhelpful thinking pattern is black and white thinking, also known as all or nothing thinking. This is when we see things as either completely good or completely bad with no middle ground. For example, you might think that if you don't get a perfect score on a test, you're a complete failure. This kind of thinking can lead to feelings of disappointment or worthlessness and might even make you avoid situations where you might not succeed perfectly. Another unhelpful thinking pattern is jumping to conclusions, which is when we make assumptions or judgments without enough evidence. For example, you might assume that someone doesn't like you because they didn't say hello to you in the hallway, when in reality, they might have been distracted or in a hurry. This kind of thinking can lead to feelings of anxiety or paranoia and might even make you avoid social situations altogether. A third unhelpful thinking pattern is catastrophizing, which is when we imagine the worst case scenario in a given situation. For example, you might imagine that if you don't get the job you applied for, you'll never be able to find work again and end up homeless. This kind of thinking can lead to feelings of panic or despair and might even make you avoid taking risks or trying new things. Next, there is mental filtering. This is when we focus only on the negative aspects of a situation and ignore anything positive. For example, if you get a positive performance review from your boss, but they also give you one area for improvement, you might only focus on that one area and feel like a failure. Another common unhelpful thinking pattern is overgeneralizing. Let's say you had a bad date and it didn't go well. You might think to yourself, I'm never going to find someone who likes me. This kind of thinking can be really damaging to your self-esteem and can lead you to avoid future dating opportunities. It can also be really unhelpful because it's not based in reality and can lead to a lot of unnecessary stress. There's also should and must thinking. This is when we have strict rules for ourselves or others and get upset when those rules aren't followed. For example, if you think, I should always be perfect, you're setting yourself up for failure and disappointment. Finally, there's labeling. This is when we use extreme or negative labels to describe ourselves or others. For example, if you make a mistake at work, you might think, I'm a total failure. This kind of thinking can be really damaging to our self-esteem and confidence. These are just a few common unhelpful thinking patterns that we might fall into. The good news is that CBT can help us recognize these patterns and learn how to replace them with more helpful thoughts. Next time, we'll talk more about how to do that. Comment down below which thinking patterns relate most to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep updated to our videos. Take care!